we just knew we were getting onslaught. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody just knew it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we just knew it was going in. But I like the slight spin. It's okay. And it may still come later. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. I, I like the spur. Yeah. yeah. I like the Because spur. Magneto I, doesn't have his full. He's getting right. himself back. Something, remember, something has to happen to Charles that unleashes his latent. Yes. For humanity that merges with Magneto's mind. And then that whole thing where he's when when he's when Charles is in Magneto's mind and he's talking and you know he's seeing all these images. This is what I'm talking about when I say they were everywhere. Everybody their cameos galore. They were all over the place. I I was gonna sorry, go ahead. Oh, this is Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, Polaris. We're all on the boat. Yeah, yeah the mental yeah. low when he was up. Uh, and um, they're also yeah. on the, um, the the presumed dead uh, wall in the last episode, too. Colossus yeah. is there. Scar- Scarlet, Colossus, Polaris. Somebody else is up there. I can't. Uh, dust, dust, dust. Dust, yeah. Dust. It's so, a lot of them, but they're, they're not presumed dead. They are listed as off-world. Not right. yet. Yes. Yes. The kids are off world. Which that's the part where I was like, I was wondering why you came for the X Men before your own two kids with limited time on the Earth, but wherever they could possibly be. Lorna is right. kind of like the redhead stepchild who has who has the most potential. Lorna Polaris. Yeah, Polaris. Yeah, yeah Lorna. She, yeah, she, I didn't know that. I didn't know who that third person. Trey's was. in the building. Yeah. Trey, like. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Trey just been showing us all love. He's just like, right. wow, bro. Show. What yeah. in the, sir? <laughs> Good <laughs> Jesus. Right as we transition, we into appreciate the- it. Thank Jeez. you, senpai. Thank you. Thank you. So, but, but you do have a lot of the off world thing is like, okay, where are y'all at? Like, mm-hmm. there's, there's a couple things going on. Him, he could have probably put him up to, like, hey, I'm about to, I'm about to. Do X, Y, and Z. Go take a vacation for a moment. What? So I, have a I, have, I have a question. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember House of M and how we got there. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. don't remember how we got to even the opening of that. Chris, why are you biting your lip so hard? I just I'm reading. Really- I'm just oh, okay. <laughs> just like, what is, did I sneak on to something? No, 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 no. no. The no. thing about Trish I mean, <laughs> I mean it, the house of how House of them started was basically because, well, they uh, Scarlet Witch, Scarlet Witch, Dark Hole, and Powered sat there and finally came up with the final solution. I got that around here somewhere. Mm-hmm. I do too. It's in my, no it's shade. In my no shade. Mm-hmm. That's probably where wow. they're at. Really, really well. No, because that's then, that's well, where when Rogue was whooping Bastion's ass. Because I am so sick of you. I'm so sick of you. Will <laughs> that was the blue area of the moon? Yeah, right. So, but it was empty. Ish. It was. <laughs> I don't know. They, I, I almost say is go back and watch a scene. It's not as empty as you think it is. Yeah, that's why I say empty-ish. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go watch it again. Wall, if you, were, if you, there's, a, there's, a, you see the face. Let's put it that way. Yeah, there's a couple in that whole fight scene with Rogue. As I was like, I went back and saw. I was like, aha, they did mm. do it. So, mm. it, like again, the, the moon isn't as empty as you think it is. Mm-mm. Okay, it's been occupied by by two known entities. Yeah, <laughs> one of them was watching over Genosha. We're not really watching over, just watching. And the other ones is the humans. Mm-hmm. So it's been occupied. And yeah, it, yeah, and it's been out and Nick Fury's been up there. And Bucky. What's popping? That's crazy. Bucky. This was crazy. <laughs> so it's but yeah, was Rogue whooping his ass? Oh yeah. Oh well, well I was actually nervous yeah. for Nightcrawler. Wait, wait. Really? Why are you in space? Huh? <laughs> Why can, they you said, Why can they breathe in space? I wondered that. I'm like, he said, he basically said that made no bouncing. sense. He said they somebody were gave an explanation online. He, he said they yeah. were like bouncing yeah. in and out of the stratosphere, but as far as rogue, no, they were Captain, on the moon, and the moon Captain doesn't get moves that. Yeah, they were on the moon. The moon is uh, Captain Marvel. Marvel's <laughs> moveset allows her to go into space. 
Yeah. Um, and she, her body, her body but, but we <laughs> we seen Rogue struggle to breathe in without an atmosphere in the previous series. I remember when mm. she was flying away from Pyro's fire in episode eight, season one. The Senator Kelly. I don't even think I don't even think she can hold her breath that long. Yeah. I don't know what she was doing out there. I mean, look, you get your hands on the dude that killed both your men at one point. You you can and your lung capacity isn't gonna change. Yeah. <laughs> and your lung capacity. Like, I'm trying to find doesn't, it make, doesn't it make sense that Roberto could at least exist in the vacuum of space? Well, okay, wait. My the, the, the very simple thing, the atmosphere was available to them. They were already descending out of space and in towards Earth. Okay. So when okay. she got sucked, when she got sucked out, they were because there's wind whipping around them. So there's obviously air there. Right, right, right. There's a point where it gets really thin and then there's no air. Mm -hmm. But if you're entering Earth's atmosphere, you're getting all of that. According oxygen. to one of the 8,000 YouTube channels I watch sometimes. Only 8,000? Um, wow, slacker. <laughs> yeah, you they, were, um, slacker. they said that that part, the blue side of the moon has habitable air. Has That's habitable what I was air. looking for. I couldn't find the tweet, but I oh, had it. Really? Yeah. That's why the so that part that there. she was on where she was oh, smacking yeah. him around is breathable for some reason. I didn't realize that was the moon in front of like reasons. in Egypt to tease the ending. And let's reiterate, she was slapping him around. Oh, in, 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 in all forms. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> right day, shape, form, and fashion, ladies and gentlemen. She she wasn't letting up. Yeah, they were in was I was I they were in the upper stratosphere where there's still some oxygen, and then the blue moon part where there's also oxygen was the explanation given. Mm -hmm. But I will say this: I really was nervous for Nightcrawler. I'm like, dude, you're not transporting fast enough. You just... <laughs> stop showing up behind, him. mix it up no, a little bit because so he's gonna pick up on it. If they was really serious, Bastion would have put his hand through him. Right. I was I, between him and Rogue. I thought it was gonna happen. Yeah, it's it's happened. It's they came up to the bam thing, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> right. So I, I enjoy I enjoy seeing this type of stuff. Um, once again, we get more cameos in the midst oh, yeah. of all this 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 drama. Uh, I only cared about one. I saw Puck. I was happy. I saw Alpha Flight. I was we, happy. We got uh -huh. Alpha Flight. <laughs> <laughs> we got Alpha. This I don't even care about Puck and everything else. I saw Puck. I'm good. Cloak and Dagger. You said what, Jason? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there were more than 25 in the whole series. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Was on Genosha. So, so that, yeah. Samurai three times. Genosha is Daredevil. Up, by 100 by itself. Daredevil, Spider-Man. Like, you got Cap. And, uh, Cap showed up more times, a couple times. You know, Cap 90s Iron Man. Iron Man no speaking roles. They just looking at each other. And I'm like, I why are both the out there with Kelly? Like, beautiful. Good. They were doing you that know, in what Civil War. Them in the Caribbean? <laughs> what less? <laughs> Those two was what less. <laughs> Definitely. And then, and then when they were making the decisions to shoot the missiles, I guess Tony had to leave the room while grown folks was talking because he's not there. <laughs> but then he comes back to the following scene. <laughs> this reminds me of when Phoenix left the Earth. Remember when Phoenix left Earth? And it was mm -hmm. like, you got a cameo of like Doctor Strange. Yeah. yeah. He showed up twice. Mm -hmm. it was, it yeah. was, I think you got Strange, Thor, and I'm one other person who could sense it. I'm blanking on who, but I was just like, we were supposed to watch her and then it turned out. Yeah, a lot too. It was a lot too. Yeah, yeah a lot too. But I think this one is what got everybody. <laughs> oh, uh, up sorry, in arms. that was in um, that was in the Phoenix saga when they were saving people. It was Spider Man mm -hmm. or Machine. <laughs> in the, in, uh, fighting in New York when the, all the natural disasters were happening. Right. Was that the one with the Hellfire Club? Because they teased them in the opening credits as the Phoenix coming back, even though everyone except Emma is dead now. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, yeah, the, the M. Cron Crystal. But they did and, confirm that, yes, Peter did finally find Mary Jane. Mm -hmm. nice, nice. The world's ending. I'm just going girl. Y'all got it. Mary Jane. Is Wait, is that, <laughs> that Thompson behind them? Yes, it is. Yep. Yep. Sure. Flash Who is Thompson. it? Thompson. Flash Thompson. Flash Thompson. The yep. duffel bag was the giveaway. Right. <laughs> that athletic ass. But it, it it feels good that they're really acknowledging the rest of the universe. You know, Doctor yeah. Strange was the only one being useful. He's like, you know what? 
people need to be healed right now. I'm I can go to a hospital and help them because whatever's happening is above me now. Um, yeah, yeah, the, you realize yeah, the portal, we saw a silver the swing thing open and then just a room with levitating candles. Very right. much. Yeah. Why can't you make some sort of light orb, like a candle, an actual burning candle that you are spending energy to float? Why can't you just make something that make light, like something, something not sitting right with me? What you in your non hands hands? Oh boy! <laughs> then Daredevil, that, 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 and, Daredevil yeah, was at home. He was at home. Long with Cloak and Dagger, right, right, right. Dare, Daredevil got the Peter too. treatment and just put through a wall, and then Cloak and right. Dagger showed up. Right. Mm. Daredevil was really fighting. Dude, I, I'm he was just like, he like the lights is out. I had no idea. Looters. Once Daredevil went through a building, was holding the left arm. I was like, damn, Prince of All Saints. Right. I was trying to figure out why we saw Silver Samurai three times. Right? Well, see, I know part of his power sets, he can sense like electromagnetism, so he's going yeah. to see that. I feel like they yeah, just wanted you to give us the Mount Fuji shot. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, <laughs> Daredevil fighting Walmart shoppers, really? Do you think they did that because the Daredevil show got announced? Think yeah. I think it's a nice it's nod. Been, it's I mean, a nice nod, too. Yeah. We were supposed uh, to get that back that... in the 90s. We were supposed to get a Daredevil series back in the 90s. Mm. They were on their way. We had a Daredevil series, or we had a um we had an X-Men, we had Spider-Man, we had Fantastic Four, we yep. had uh She-Hulk, we had uh well, we had Iron Man for a while. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it, they were on there, they were trying to build that universe then. Mm. Now they got an opportunity to, to kind of revisit that and like they really could do that. Like, when I watched all the Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes, like all the all the versions of the Avengers cartoons that came mm -hmm. out after I've seen the whole Fantastic Four franchise from I think it was like the two thousands. Yeah, they yeah looked, the, they the update, good. like, <laughs> like <laughs> updated one. They showed it. It was like on Nickelodeon or something. Yeah, they, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, uh, they, they tried to get their hands on Deadpool, and they were just like, absolutely not. Yeah. Why are you frowning? There's actually, there is actually a Deadpool animated test pilot. Mm. Out there, that that would have went really, really well. I don't know why it was, that didn't get picked up. It was still, it was still rated R because it was going to be released like on VHS. Mm. Uh, have mercy. I'm also going back to party. I'm gonna say cocaine was the only thing off limits. <laughs> well, if you think they're not scrolling through these comics looking for other characters they can bring to life in animated form after this success, then they'd be foolish. They'd who be was, foolish who was everybody try. that was with Omega Red? Because I was surprised to see him like. One, I was surprised that building was still standing. Uh, Crimson also. Dynamo. Yeah, it was Dark. Mega Red, a Crimson Dark. Dynamo. And I, can't it was, I think it was... Um, Dark Star. What's her name? No. Dark Star. Dark Star. Dark Star. Yeah. I, I was surprised yeah, that she, she was protecting there. anybody. I was expecting there to just be a pile of bodies once Omega Red broke up. Yeah, and but he was doing the mutants yeah. against everybody. I'm saying, when you see they jump, in front of, they jump in front of the scientists, I'm like, usually... You see the type of character that would use them as a living shield? I, I was surprised he was like in front of him. Like I think of him, think of Omega Red as the uh, another form of the Winter Soldier. We got control. Okay. I don't we, know. We I, feel like, I feel like Omega Red is very much like nobody's gonna rule my land but me. That could right. have been yeah. as well. I feel like I, I get, I'm like we're on your home turf, so maybe I get it. Nobody spills blood if it's not mine. Not me doing it. Yeah. Yep. They were, yeah, I forgot about the, the episode. Yeah. Around. So they had a nice little block, but I think they just didn't know how to push it. Yeah, they yeah. Uh, they, they made it. <laughs> that was my thing when I was rewatching the show. Like we had so many cameos that just didn't really pay out in other shows or didn't pay out. They connected them well, but like, mm -hmm. I know even the Hulk, there was licensing issues and Morph was like right. a legal loophole around that. <laughs> Morph was a legal loophole behind a lot. <laughs> Meanwhile, if you play it back in slow motion, you gotta give it to T'Chaka and the damn Dora because they wasted no time. Nope. Mm -hmm. They were just standing there like, come on, we waiting. Like, if mm -hmm. you watch it, it flashes through the glass and like Eviscerates three of them, and then the door just like say less. It's time. Well, you just see all you just see them like, well, Bashing Bashing really didn't go to Wakanda. He just sat there and just stuck with mostly mutants, which I thought was yeah, that, they, 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 with that high ass collar. Just mm -hmm. 
not yeah, shaking at all. Just like, I know you ain't coming back. The line that T'Chaka gives, and I and I actually had to oh, yeah, screenshot what? it. He gives a line to 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 the basically the president and everybody else. But he says he says, vote yes and and you best pray our children read their textbooks more than their Bibles, for only history could be kind into forgiving us. Mm-hmm. Damn. Right. Mm. Mm. And I'm like, dude, bars. Right. Here we go with the parallels again. <laughs> it's about hey, to go like sideways, to ladies and gentlemen. Bars. I know how I like to do history, but uh, if you press that, just know I don't co sign this shit. Right. <laughs> And it's like Ill. he was telling him, he was like, "You don't want to do that. You don't. I'm telling you, but you don't want to listen to the hey, black Tony, man." Uh, you <laughs> get, Tony, Tony, you need to get out. We're gonna use your missiles, but you can't be here for this conversation. Right. And so this is a, this is something that, that that bugged me. They had a mag. They had the Magneto protocols, mm-hmm. and their their solution was let's nuke it and blow it up, and that way it'll stop it from falling. No, mm-hmm. that made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's typical. Watch. But that's typical of the type of decisions that politicians are going to make. Let's just throw nukes at it. That'll take care of it. You're All it tells me is that the Magneto protocols did not include scientists. Because I'm pretty sure one physicist would have been like, "Wait, we're it's firing missiles at a stationary mm-hmm. orbiting device that could it's fall weird. from orbit and kill us." Yeah. It, it sounds like it's a bunch of men that have absolutely no expertise in a particular life style or living or entity mm. because Damn. they've never oh. been that thing like a scientist in general or a doctor who knows whatever you want to say exactly. just napkins watch a video that talked about yes. miles. i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> what'd you say jason i said i watched a video that talked about the realism of uh like like disaster movies mm. it's like we don't have enough uh, nuclear power on Earth to blow up an asteroid if it was going to hit the Earth. We don't have enough here mm-hmm. on the planet. Look, so that whole thing is was impossible. I mean, yeah. it, it, right. it's, 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 it's just it's like the weatherman. Uh, it's like a 25% chance of rain. You're thinking it may not rain that much. And then you get torrential downpours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If they can't figure out the weather, they damn sure can't figure out the asteroid. That's true. <laughs> Give your percent chance that it's going to rain, fool. Just tell us it's going to rain. Just I mean, just I, I said it in our group chat. Cleveland had four seasons in one week, and then we had major floods in certain areas that never gets floods, and then we had a tornado touchdown that never has touched down here in almost <laughs> what 50, 60 years. Damn. And then we seen a full a full uh solar eclipse, and then we seen the northern lights just last week. Yeah, so whoever, has the dark hole, so whoever has the dark hole in your state needs to close it. I'm ready. I'm just saying, yeah. there's, there's a hell mouth here. <laughs> it's like somebody, somebody is playing, somebody is playing Harry Potter in your city. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> the TV let, shows let me get fast my... and onslaught is here right now, just messing with everything. <laughs> so just, there's just a let scene. my mutant power manifest first, okay? Just let me have that. <laughs> so there's a scene which, and I like this theory. Uh, Wolverine is basically in Med Bay and Morph is by his side. And Mm -hmm. he says, if you do it, do it for her. And he's, you know, he says, Gene, and he can't respond. And Morph says, she can't say it, but I I can. Mm. And he morphs into Gene and he says, I love you, Logan. And I like the theory of, even though for, for Wolverine, that's his best friend. Mm-hmm. But for Morph, it's more than that, mm-hmm. and it's probably his best way of like this is a way for Logan to hear the voice of a woman he loves, but it's a way for Morph to kind of get his emotion off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I was annoyed by that. I was annoyed by that. I, I, I too. I, all right, if you mm-hmm. <laughs> fellas, your best friend is half ass dead on a fucking table. You right. have the ability to just sound like the person that he loves the most in this potential world. Right. Are you actually going to sound like this bitch because you his best friend? 
Or is there something a little bit deeper than that? I'm just, so, I'm, I'm just that's, that's what, no, no, that's what he's saying. No, I think that's what he's saying. My yeah. issue with it was that it was very passive and yes. weird. Yeah. So that's what Bo said. He's like, yes, he was confessing, but he's also a guy confessing these feelings living in 1997. Right. But the two reactions I did see was, okay, he's saying it on behalf of Gene or professing his feelings in secret. And the other reaction I saw was, you're transforming into your best friend's crush to gaslight him out of a coma. Morph, you messy bitch. I'm just saying that was kind yeah, of crazy. I'll, I don't think Morph don't was being messy. This is not Morph being messy it. because we, originally, in the original series, when Morph got, he, he took the shot and Wolverine was pissed about it. And Wolverine when, when Cyclops psycho. made that call, I remember, but I'm got saying how Morph has been messing with everybody all season, transforming into Charles. Going but look, look, room, look, but look, look who he doesn't mess with because he's the one that was just like, I fought for you, I had mm-hmm. your back, and these mm-hmm. bastards wanted to leave. Like he punched Cyclops, he got he walks off the, the Blackbird, punches Cyclops dead in the gut. He said, You bastard, we left them behind. <laughs> but yeah, th- those were like the two reactions I saw from the community. It was like, Morph is just messy to the end, but I love it. Or, oh, Morph really loves Logan. And I'm just like, the parallel is hilarious. It's I like also, the fact that I he mean, lo- he loves Logan. And but he, in the same, he, in he, the yeah, same Scott breath, is okay. He, Scott mm-hmm. is someone's like, don't you break her heart. I'm like, so we're just, he just ain't never letting this Everybody go. Everybody knows. Hmm. I'm, just, I'm just saying, if that, ain't, if that ain't the thruple that'll just survive the test of time, like you guys there until, you guys there until you're part, you're, your teammate who loves your wife, don't you let her down. Uh, you just don't, all, all the things you tell me. And then, like I said, it's, more, it's more into Gene. No wonder Wolverine's it's messed up. Literally, it's yeah. literally just like when he thought it was Gene that was going to labor. It was actually Madeline. But mm-hmm. when he leaves Madeline, Gene, uh, uh <laughs> mm-hmm. when he leaves her with Logan, he trusts her with him or he trusts him with her because mm-hmm. he's like, if something happens, He's gonna take care of it. He's not. He may hate my guts, but he ain't gonna let her down. Mm-hmm. Even like, damn me, but he definitely not gonna let no harm come to her. If somebody was like, it's like the Spider-Man meme of pointing at who loves who, but it's like a Pentagon. You got Morph, who loves Logan, who loves Jean, who loves Scott, right. who loves Madeline. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Do we need to say anything All else? Say they- Do we need to say anything else? Wait, hold on. No, whoever whoever took that meme. There we go. <laughs> whoever took the picture of Logan oh, no. looking at the picture. I was gonna just, say, Navy, you're not rubbing it in the bed like you do at night. Pause. No, Diddy. All that stuff. You're just not rubbing the picture like that. At night. Wait a damn no, minute. Whoever, 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 you said what you said. You said what you said. What you said. Fire off, fire off Let's step away from my no, great. My Diddy. hero click is now no. sullied, sir. Whoever you took the sullied my hero click. Y'all were waiting on Bam. Y'all were waiting on Bam. I just beat him to the punch. Uh, Whoever took, took the meme of Logan and in the picture frame they put a picture of his adamantium. <laughs> oh, dirty work. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> and yep, and she's gone. Oh boy. Yeah. So I'm surprised they killed Madeline. Yeah. I was yeah. I was really waiting. Wait, is she really dead? Because um Meg, I know. Magneto came back and he just uh, he just put that force field around him, right? So maybe she's kind of alive ish somewhere. One thing we've seen I is mean, anything is, is the... possible in this series. This is true. There are no I mean, definitives. The... There are no definitives. Here's the Goblin Queen, it's so possible. not surprising. Oh. Yeah. Now she got blasted. She got so blasted. The, the whole Didn't she get... now the dynamic yeah, between the yeah. 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 And I think the dynamic between Charles and Eric. There are so many different ways to read it, and none of these ways are wrong. Let the waters rise. I, I, I look I in like, your I mean, eyes. I need them to just have a real, authentic, gay relationship. Just one fucking time. No, uh, maybe they okay. are. Maybe they are. I like, right. the, and I'm really pissed. I'm kind of <laughs> upset. I'm kind of upset at the fact that they have turned. Roberto into for what seems for now a a straight teenage boy. Mm-hmm. I need them to really touch more to on the the at least give the the ambiguity 
of his character. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's young, but he's still trying to figure out if he really is. He's already got this mutant thing that's on his mind or in his in his spirit that he's trying to flesh out. But now he's but now he's searching his feelings for um, either another member on the team or somebody else that's coming in out of his life. Like we we need a fully fleshed out range of sexuality on the show. And y'all keep talking about not y'all y'all but y'all keep talking about uh, couples throuples and and these uh love triangles and all that other stuff be genuine about these characters that are very very popular in these books mm. i'm still talking about storm a little bit too i'm still a little bit yeah, mad I, but yeah. <laughs> so i think the one season one was a very big testing ground season two we'll get a lot more fleshing out now that we know it's yeah. coming but even that i was just like I've been making all the angry old divorcee jokes all season, and here we finally are. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, it's like, I guess you can see it as like a brotherly thing, but I can also tell who wrote this. I, I, well, think, I, think, I think a lot of people are good, 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 maybe. Well, what are you saying? I think a lot of people are failing to realize is that it's 1997. Mm-hmm. So as as progressive as we want the show to be, is still steeped in a particular time frame from 92 to 97. There wasn't a lot of understanding of the LGBTQIA plus community. There wasn't a lot of understanding about feelings and understanding and, and expressing your emotions. There wasn't a lot of that because you had so many people who were like, no, this is wrong. This is against the Bible, blah, blah, blah. This is abomination. So what they're doing, they're staying within that time frame. As much as we want to see that progression now, they're sticking mm-hmm. within the time frame. It's not even 2000 yet. I, I'm going to disagree with you on that. Only because I figured I, you would. I, I love you. <laughs> and because I was in high school in 1997 and about the age what? of Sun Scott and Joe Blee, I'm going to say that from that perspective, there were a lot more kids that were being very open about their sexuality during that time Wait. with their friends. But, especially yeah. with at school. Go ahead. You got to think about where you were raised, though. You know what I'm saying? Because now I, I, we were the same. We were about the same age. I agree with you because New York, where we are, it's a lot. It's a lot different than other places. Where where are where are the mutants in the X Men? Yes, they are in New York as well, upstate. Because mm-hmm. so, <laughs> there you go. Different things, okay. Mm-hmm. If you think outside of Long Island and even parts of Long Island, but if you think outside of Long Island, the five boroughs, upstate is very yeah. rough. Even yeah. now, you yeah. know what I mean. Albany. Like, Let's I talk agree. about Albany. Is right 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 right. Right. But I think that both of what you and Navy are saying in this time period is actually accurate because it's really about where you are at. Yeah. I think the undertones are there on purpose to help build the frustration and then remind us, yes, we're in that time period, which Bo did state at one point last night when he was responding to people. So it's there, but it's also crazy to see like, hey, they're having this nice conversation. And then you cut to real time. It's like, by the way, just blasting this man in the face and <laughs> making him mm-hmm. bend, bending to his will. Also, Shut up, William. No, Diddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shut up, William. Shut and up, then William. finding out Magneto just... Shut up, just just one more Holocaust remembrance. Can't remember his own parents. <laughs> Not due to Dang. Charles. Dang. Just, it's been that long since he's ever seen them. Dang. Really, Will? Yeah. Well, yeah I'm, I'm not even going to pay. I'm not even paying attention because Will been coming. Boy, he been out of pocket. <laughs> out of I pocket. Mean, 1997. I'm say, type it, Will. Type it. <laughs> I'm say, 1997, that was, that was X-Men and New York Undercover at the same time. But now, uh, to answer your question, I was two. Oof. No, but I mean it's a fair point. They've always, they've always teased, if you really think about it, they've always teased the whole relationship thing between Charles and Xavier. But right. it's just literally, it's always been that, but it's always been just a battle of morals. It's like eventually one is trying to convince the other, they won't give up on each other. It is almost at like the Bobby and Whitney of animation. I'm sorry. That was the first thing. I feel like the Bobby and Whitney of animation. They're toxic to each other, but won't give up on each other. But but it's true. If you really think about it, Charles will never give up on Magneto. Magneto will never give up on Charles, even though they're oh, they're both on opposite ends. It is a it is a toxic friendship if you're really being honest about it. It's just family, like brotherhood. I mean, it, I mean like look, like he said, there's two words I've always wanted to say to you: <laughs> shut up. Mm-hmm. 
not shut the fuck up. Just, no, 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 just, just shut up. I was like, how much are we going to push this show? Come on. Mm-hmm. You know, so he... I don't see it. With It's not, with, like, Dumbledore. It's not like Dumbledore they, and, and, and uh, what's his name? Voldemort. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> like more, right with, the, with these why. two, with these two, one like, thing is for sure, two things is for certain. Whole series. Mm-hmm. They don't always agree, but they be damned if they're not going to hurt each other and they're right. not going to watch somebody else hurt them. I mean, you saw we saw Magneto defend Charles most times when, especially in the terrible Brian Singer movie, where, where where you saw Magneto just try and say that man has done from that man has done more for mutants than you possibly could ever imagine. So don't you dare disrespect that man. Yeah, we just it's, it's just fine. like we don't agree on things, but I don't hate this man. <laughs> yeah. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so if all of our um, lovely <laughs> audience would like to go to blurtseyeview.org. I wrote a piece earlier today touching on this whole uh, Charles Eric relationship, and I'm just saying, like, I don't want to give all the the nuance away, but um, they're gay. I don't, I don't care what what Bo has to say. I don't care what the fandom has to say. In in this show, their relationship, they're gay. And that's okay. That's fine. We can. Well, I no longer need any confirmation from anyone. Like, I, <laughs> I'm not I would say queer. I, I would say queer. Because queer. Cool. he's definitely fucking a bird. So that's, mm-hmm. that is. Right. And he yeah. left definitely her to come back to the Milky Way ghetto to see these kids. And ah. meanwhile, he's inside Magneto. His kids is getting killed and he don't care. That that was the whole thing. I'm just like, <laughs> I can tell. I can see the undertone. Thank you, Kira. You did oh, but it. You oh, it is got point, you That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I can see we're in 1997. I can mm-hmm. see the type of man who wrote this story, but was just like, you're going to give a little influence. Not going to go all the way there, but the conversation is going to be fun after this pen hits this paper because hey this is all we're having this nice discussion by the way i'm inside you pause <laughs> you see how fast ladies head just turn crazy oh there's gonna be a lot of pause there's gonna be a lot of on this it was, particular it was episode. Just a violent parallel of, like they're having this nice convo and then you just see they're just in searing pain in the real world yeah. meanwhile mm-hmm. on earth the most disrespectful thing i've been waiting for someone to do Getting beat with your own arm is just a different level of disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> and that why was why was it banned like, for what? Pause. That was a, that that is a pause too. <laughs> pause moment is definitely. That was crazy. <laughs> this moment was brought to you by it? Blur's Come Eye on, View. Spartan, do it, Spartan. Come on. <laughs> like, like, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> Mm-mm. I can't with you, Jason. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to completely derail the conversation. But in Godzilla versus Kong, King Kong beats some other King Kongs with a smaller child King Kong. I feel like that's the most disrespectful thing I'm gonna see all year. Like it, 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 it didn't quite I, I wanna I wanna I wanna address uh where's the court comment at? Okay. Half life is it half yeah half life mm-hmm. divided? Uh, he mm-hmm. said X Men works one hundred percent better as an animation. Could you imagine doing this season of X Men ninety seven as a live action? Goodbye no. budget. No, honestly, no. Show, no, it wouldn't be as good. No, no. no. Wouldn't make certain, it. There's only certain things that can be done in animation alone. There's just certain that just that's just it. You can't do a lot of things in live action. Animation gives you that freedom. <laughs> so can you can you do a live action? Yes. <laughs> But can you do it to the level that this series has done it? Absolutely not. Pretty I don't much. think so. I'd yeah, rather you see would... a series of, of animated X Men films and TV shows like they do with DCEU yeah. mm-hmm. than mm-hmm. any live action from X Men. The powers are too expansive. Yeah, I would have to agree with you. Arrows over here. Yeah, you, you, the writing might be on point, but until somebody bit. decides to fuck around. Plus, with it. Plus, there's just something about there's something about an animated show that if you try to change the live action, it loses a lot. It doesn't have that same feel to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree, oh. Tasha. I think anima- right. animation it does. You can do more. You can you can obviously do more. 
Um, so with all the fighting that goes on up top and people passing away from projects taking too long or getting into some drama, voice actors are easier to replace. Yeah. yeah. So I, I oh, think it can, can it be done? Out, I totally agree. Shout out to Ross Marquand doing all the fucking voices on that goddamn show. Jesus yeah. Christ. That dude's impressive. He's everywhere. That dude's impressive. He's everywhere. Yeah. He is everywhere. Yeah. If so, it's a Marvel property, and they need to do a voice they can't get that actor who did the person live action, they call this dude. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So we get the team, the team asteroid M vanishes. Mm-hmm. Magneto wakes up, he, he gets his balls about him. He's just like, Oh, yeah, we, we're gonna stop this. He stops and the asteroid destroys, another in the, destroys another blackbird in the process. Yeah, the blackbirds always get destroyed. Pause. Brings it back, bring it back, and then <laughs> They're just they're gone. The only one let me see Roberto, Jubilee, Forge mm-hmm. are the only ones that we've seen all that's on earth, and then Bishop, of course. And then we get this nice little screen. Our Amanda, our Mandalore mm-hmm. is dying back there. Yeah, Kira's Kira's coughing off. Get some water. Get some water. Uh, I feel like get some water. Get some water. Exodus is still alive. Yeah, Exodus is still yeah. alive. You got Omega it. level mutant. Just yeah. dancing. He was on the uh, Shadow Cat. Dust. Uh, mm-hmm. Dust was actually, I think she was at, uh, they showed her on the, I think that was her on the cover of the newspaper in the first episode mm-hmm. when they had the uh, the mutant fashion show. Yeah, she was. Um, she was now that you mentioned yeah. it. Yeah, and then you have Iceman Havoc, <laughs> Exodus, Shadow Cat, Dust. Uh, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, who are considered off world, mm-hmm. you know, Lorne is probably off world, but we already see the makings of the next squad. Yeah, can I ask a question? Yeah, who, is it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. who the hell is Dust? So, <laughs> I didn't know her either. namesake is just what it is. Mm-hmm. She can what? turn the clouds, into, yeah, her is namesake, she is. huh? Yeah. Is she uh... yeah. Oh, yes. Get the like, Something yeah. like that, yeah. Muslim general. Mm-hmm. Muslim. Yep. Well, yeah. Able, one ambiguous able Muslim one. character. Hmm. But I don't know her actual heritage if they talk about it in the comic. But I that's think. how she, you know, keeps herself covered. She turns to literal dust, mm-hmm. like a cloud of dust, mm-hmm. which is effective if you know how to use that. Does she get Dusty dust? McDusterson? Mm. Right. Is it bad that I was that the only thing that could beat dust is a vacuum? Stop. Oh, <laughs> Bruh. I'm sorry. I, every time, every, every time I hear Dusk get created, I'm like, her greatest enemy is her, is a Hoover vacuum. I'm just <laughs> stop. <laughs> her main adversary is a Swiffer. <laughs> Lord. I mean, if if, Di- if Dyson and Kirby ever got together, stop. Oh so anyway, <laughs> prior to all of that, we do get our goodbye. With uh, with the fam- with the Summers family, mm-hmm. and uh, that Scott just tells him like it. everything. Really, you can't blame Scott for anything that actually happened with Cable. Mm-hmm. He just couldn't. He's like, I'm not making that decision. I'm not making that decision. He's like, oh, he was like, I'm not gonna be like my father. I'm not gonna leave my kid. Also, get, getting the explanation for the chip on Cable's shoulder has was nice because he did kind of. He was always so standoffish in the re- the original show, and mm-hmm. finally getting his reasoning for it made a lot of sense. It was nice, mm-hmm. but they but they actually did have a kind of a closure moment. It's like you know what? I don't really hate you that much, old man. Yeah, we've 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 had our bonding moment in battle, so now I know was, you about business. He, he was mm-hmm. basically he was basically envious or like <laughs> the whole time because mm-hmm. all X Men mm-hmm. stories were supposed to be have him in it. But I mean, here's, 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 they had their fast and furious moment. We are in they they come they show us 3000 BC mm-hmm. and Rogue, Magneto, Professor Beast. Uh, I feel like I'm missing someone. Magneto, Magneto, yeah, after Magneto, Magneto, Charles, Beast, Rogue, Nightcrawler. 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 Yeah, they're all in 3000 BC. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And I, I was waiting for this moment. Uh, run into Lockjaw. Will they meet a? Will they meet a certain uh, individual? <laughs> in Sabadour, who we better known as Apocalypse. 
They kept nah. showing the opening scene with Cable fighting Apocalypse, and I knew. Yeah, I did. I was. Right. I'm like, y'all keep showing this. Y'all keep showing this. When is it gonna happen? You know. Just like they kept showing the Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was weird that like they they cut to the Hellfire Club for that. Whoever Emma was with them, like that was so random. We just, just we just need the bird. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then I, a, go ahead. I think they showed a clip uh, of season two potentially in that in that um, psychic link that. Uh, what is it Madeline had with the baby? Mm-hmm. I think they showed a he he just wants a dare. She's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, um I think there's I think that clip of him drawing is is cable in the future drawing on that sheet because he's a little kid at that point, they, right? Yeah. Yeah. Where they where they Somebody now they, that's where they show <laughs> they show Cyclops and Gene, they're like what 3500 AD, something like that. Something like that. The 39, yeah, something, some, like yeah, some crazy. We're in the three year, eras right? of Apocalypse. And yeah. they show Clan Ascani. Mm-hmm. And for those who don't know, that woman who came up to her, whose mother Ascani, is actually Rachel Summers. Summers. Yep. Mm. Which is Gene and Cyclops' <laughs> daughter. <laughs> Mm. The blood thickens. Yes, and in that era, they get called slim and red. Yep. Mm-hmm. So is, it, Nathan, it, is Nathan in that timeline? He is. That's not. He, that's not he, he's a little he's kid, kid, isn't he? He's a kid. He's, he's a kid. little kid. With the white, the little bit of. Uh, did he have white hair? No. Yeah, it's like he had the little yeah. bit, like yeah. he, out the hat. Yeah. yeah. Does he become Nate Gray? Good question. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> we don't know if we're getting that version, which mm-hmm. that's the untapped potential. Right. Like that was that's the one that's not that doesn't have the virus. That's the one who is completely mm-hmm. falls to the wall, like at a higher level than his own mother. Excellent. Yeah, hmm. he's got a robot arm right there, doesn't he? You and can't really see it. Mm-hmm. No, that would yeah, like a split second, arm. but it doesn't look normal. You're talking about a show where we're dealing with mutants in two different time zones or timelines, three timeline. different timelines. Right now, <laughs> it's <laughs> nothing's going to be normal. No, you th- you think there are different time. timelines? Yeah, yeah time. Time. well, oh, I mean, we're, like I said, we're we're in the three timelines of apocalypse right is now. It, so is it is it timelines or time periods? Timelines. Period. Period. Timeline. Timeline. Or there are different branches or different. Right. They're that. No, it's the same. It's the. It would be the same. Timeline. Three different time periods. Yeah. 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 There's no branch. Nothing branched off yet. They're all. No, no, we're not. We're not. We're not that far along. We we got pre-present and post-apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah. Because apocalypse was caused by the murder of Professor X, but like Days of Future Past was caused by the murder of Senator Kelly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. But they're all possible futures, right? Right. So right. That's possible. why when that's why when Bishop came back, he didn't have his mullet. Holy Jesus! Mm. How the fuck are we supposed to get all this shit together? How is he going to put all this shit together? And, the, and he's awfully calm when he comes <laughs> back. You're, like, you're calm for somebody that lost a kid, um, <laughs> right? Right. Like, got, a fresh, like, got a fresh, got a fresh haircut and everything. Like, Little white baby, it's fine. <laughs> 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 I didn't want to take it there, but that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one more white kid in the system. Right. Just, not be all right. Somebody pick him up. He'll be all right. I can be your mammy. <laughs> <laughs> the power of the the power of the plot will be on his side. Oh god. Uh, 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 this is this is why Jason is family. Uh, he fits right in here. Yeah. So we do get introduced to that, and then we actually get introduced to Apocalypse showing up on Genosha, mm-hmm. and he picks up a burnt uh, playing card, and it's just like, ah, oh, we're we're gonna get. He's so much death. We're, 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 the horseman rides again. Yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. I <laughs> thought Apocalypse was destroyed in time. Oh no, they tried to resurrect. Oh, right. Wasn't he? Yeah. Season five, they tried, right, to right, right, they tried to resurrect him with Caliban and all of them, right? Um, yep. Yeah. They had the white man leading the clan of natives. But he did come back. Yeah. The same guy that tried to 86 Magneto became his vessel. 
Yep. Right. I, I forgot about that. I forgot his name. Five, the, the Beast and Rogue Adventure. Cor and Cor Cortez. Rogue, Jubilee. Vivian Cortez. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Fabian Cortez became his vessel. That's right. Yes, Fabian Cortez. That's the name. Uh, it, it'll be uh, an interesting <laughs> period. Don't you love how it all ties together one way? And you want to see how they tie it in another way? Oh, this is going to be fun. This is definitely a ride. I can't wait for the next season. Oh, yeah. To see the four horsemen and the fact that Gambit is basically going to be coming back as death. Yeah. I wonder if Greg is going to hit power. Gambit as death is oh? just is. If you thought Feral Wolverine was a problem, Gambit as a horseman of death is something you don't expect. That is, right. yeah. Well, you say, it's, it's the most the least Wolverine? expecting thing. When you say was, horseman of death, he's going to be um, Apocalypse Horseman? Yes. Yeah, he's going to yeah. be Apocalypse mm -hmm. Horseman. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Logan in there? I think some of the X-Men are unaccounted for right now. Storm. Storm. Yeah. Right, right. Storm is more. Archangel was on the on the board. That's his yeah, former but... angel, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah, Archangel was on the board too. And Jubilee. Y yep. Yes. Ar Archangel's missing. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Is Jubilee missing? Yeah. No, no, Jubilee. yeah. Jubilee's in the present. No, Ju Jubilee, Jubilee and Roberto, is... they're back on Earth. Oh, they're not. Right, okay. Yeah. On they the board, they were listed as AWOL. Yeah. Jubilee. Yeah. They just don't know where they are right now. Yeah. Those three were listed as AWOL. Yeah, so they're not, they they're are not missing. Dead. We just don't know where they are. So right, right, not not missing as in presumed dead. Correct. Yeah, so. all, the, all the ones who got who were on Astrid M. I don't think we saw everybody because Wolverine was fighting for his life. Storm mm -hmm. is. Yeah, we don't know Wolverine. She's in Egypt. Allegedly. Next time we see Storm, she'll probably just be royalty. That's what I'm hoping mm -hmm. for. Unless that, unless they go into unless they go into her fall position. Although, according to Bro, they're in the future. The ones we didn't see on screen in those last few shots are in the future mm -hmm. with Jean and Cyclops. Okay, right. Okay. Okay. Although shout out, shout out to Jubilee for giving us a Rasengan gone and getting away with it though. The, the, okay, <laughs> but did you see how she curved it? She literally yeah, she curved her spun it and then hit his <laughs> other wing when he dropped. And then the fact that he, I guess they got tired of the jokes about the fireworks because the what she did to his face right after she did the most damage. Yeah, she did the most damage. She was like, oh, I've heard that before. Like, I haven't heard that before. She was like, hey, right. did, eat it. Did he take Cable? Did he take Cable's arm and, like, use the virus? Yeah. That that's yeah. How he, got basically, he basically used it to upgrade himself. Right. Okay. Yep. That's how he got the wings. Yeah. I, I, like, I get Cable, what he did, but I was just like, why Cable's arm could specifically be. for this? Yeah, because Cable's arm is basically future tech, and Bastion can actually warp it to whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that's the reason why he was able to do it. He had a rough ass time on that beach. Had to fight his stepmom, made him cry, admit to two hundred failed attempts to save Genosha, beat him with his own arm, and then just left. When and he said two hundred, he said yeah. two hundred. I'm like, damn. God damn. So just, just for the math, four thousand six hundred twenty-one <laughs> seconds. Genosha suffered for an hour and seventeen minutes. <laughs> Somewhere, Doctor Strange is going, rookie. This wasn't me, and and right. <laughs> this hmm. wasn't me. And it wasn't the kid this time either. Um, and then Rogue, when he got to Asteroid M, just hitting him with the Remembered Special. Right. I mean, His name so was. There, there was definitely a lot of a lot of moments, especially when Gene comes back to, as Phoenix and is in full control, and cool. and Storm sees it, and the joy that she lets out, she's is like, "I knew you had it in you. I'm glad you're here." Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was it was like that's that's that sister moment again. It, I, I, you could then hear you could then hear black girl magic play in the background. <laughs> but then when Bastion transformed, I'm like, can you bring the bird back for like five more minutes? Like you left at a very inconvenient time. So that was a weird way for a power up. It's like I have the Phoenix and it's gone. Wait, wait, uh, wait. Say, there, hold on there, there, there's well, a second. Whenever Gene interacts with water, the Phoenix arrives. <laughs> oh my god! So oh. Phoenix is sort of blew off, but I, they're they got some anime fans in that studio because the impact frames when okay. Magneto gets hit with the blast in Episode Nine, when mm -hmm. uh, when Cable attacks Gene in <laughs> Episode Nine, when Cyclops does the blast at uh, that was at that, that moment, Tasha. That was yeah. that moment. <laughs> she said it was like when Thor. Said I knew it when Cat picked up the hammer. That is that <laughs> moment. Basically, that's the same exact moment. 
But yeah, <laughs> then uh, when Cyclops let out the rage blast and tried to kill Bastion, and then when when uh, when Rogue stuck his ass with that left hook, you watch yeah. the entire yeah. color palette change all four times. Yeah, I believe is. when Cable under Sinister's influence, I don't think he was completely under his influence. It was, mm. trigger, it was still strong enough to trigger an anime cutscene. That's right. It, it was, uh, when, when he says he was like, "That's you know, my mom's the most powerful telekinetic I know." It tends to not skip a generation. Yeah. Can we? I think he knew what he was doing. Uh, like it wasn't. Was about okay. You're not my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get I, the petty award? I used to fight my stepmom. <laughs> Can we get the petty award to morph after? Uh, Sinister yes. lost everything. Yeah. <laughs> he went to he went straight to him. He said, My face, my face. I'm like, dude, you can't look in the water. <laughs> that was, that, was, that, that was, 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 was the thing. Demanding that he be shown by the person you used to enslave. I'm like, your audacity. Your mutant <laughs> powers have been stripped away. <laughs> but you gotta love, but you gotta love more for that. Morph couldn't wait for that. He's like, Oh, you mean this face? Does this does this look familiar? Does Yo, he's... I peed my pants when he, he did like that. I, I, I laughed so loud, so loud. We don't I was like, to hear you say you no more. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> oh my god! So overall, this series for me gets a ten. Mm-hmm. This is, this oh. is thirteen stars out of ten. Yeah. Um. This this is the reason why seasons two and three has should well be confirmed. Well, Marvel and Disney have already confirmed, well, not confirmed, but they've already stated that they don't want to wait, like, a very long period of time. It's when most streaming services have these shows, you are, we already know, like, it's like a big gap invincible. Between, between seasons. <laughs> well, the funny part is they, did have their, they did have that uh, upfront conference today, so uh, X-Men 97 was brought up there, and they all sat there and said, we are highly behind they, they, they were very careful not to mention Bo. They were like, we are highly behind the cast and production behind X-Men 97. Look, and they have our... Right now, Bo's not coming nope. back. I'm a dead guy. Right? Bo's not coming back. Not yeah. saying how we know, but we're just... Bo's not coming back. <laughs> Sorry. No. What, did you, make, what did you do to make the niggas that mad? What? Again, what did, what did he do to make them that mad to where... Look, Stuff. even if I knew Bo's not coming back, didn't say it. Mm. That NDA yes. stands hard. Yes. I actually, Chris, I had to go back and delete all my. I had to go back and delete all my voice <laughs> notes. Yeah. The, uh, I just, the, I just locked it in. I'm like, yeah. oh, because I was like, oh, wait a minute, because you can record these and like. <laughs> I'm like, I wouldn't reveal anything. It's just, no, I'm just but, like, um, Ooh, but no, it's just look, great job incredible you will always have this and you can use it and take it wherever you want that, that isn't that what i said this is just what he's doing now is just a resume for the next job yeah look, DC, DC animation about to be knocking on man basketball wives Thank you for your services. He really did a great job, but yeah, that's all. He left, so, he left the mark, and it it it's yeah. it's it, it 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 will work in his favor. Yeah, well, this part yeah. too. The the yes. yeah, I mean, so they work, have they received the Gotham he TV award work. for breakthrough drama series already winning nice. the award. He can they uh, are li- they are submitting. Uh, uh, I was going to say issue five. Uh, episode five uh for the primetime Emmys. Mm. And I I, I, really? can, I don't, yeah, I can see them pulling this one off. Hey, look. Primetime Emmys, most watched original animated series of the year and on all of mm-hmm. Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He 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 can go work anywhere now. Yeah, yeah. I can gave it a nine. Yeah. Even if you pay him, it's hard to get. So I mean. I mean there's a lot of there's a lot of hope for this show mm. going forward, and they I think they now know they're like yeah we we got something here, and it's like we've always said, you need someone who is passionate about the project and knows the source material, and understands that Thank not you. everything can get transferred over, but there yeah, are right. certain key moments that can, right. right. 
Like, and and, the, and the, fact that they, the fact that this was the only that no, that uh, it's uh, episode ten was the only episode that was forty minutes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everybody else was thirty three minutes. The fact that you got that much content in thirty three minutes, that's which is ex- we we always thought this is hard to do. Mm-hmm. That's a hard transfer, and mm-hmm. you pulled it off. Most it says a lot. Most shows were twenty two minutes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Twenty two. I was mm-hmm. about to say that. So that was an improvement on that already. <laughs> and then we didn't have any filler like the Christmas episode. Ugh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny though. <laughs> he was in the kitchen. He was like, "Bitch, you can't cook." Right. <laughs> My whole thing was just the Morlocks getting mad at Storm, and they. I don't like how everybody flipped on Storm that episode. It's like you left us to die. I'm like. Yeah, yeah, you gave, you, they gave power you right back to you five minutes after you lost it. I'm responsible right. for none of these children. And then, come right. up, why you not her? And, and then Wolverine's like, uh, I was a little rough on you. She's like, no, I should have been better. I'm like, you said give a blood transfusion. He said, let the kids suffer. Like, who's at fault here? Why, <laughs> why is Storm taking this from everybody in the holidays, no less? Flip a table. Right. So, uh, I'm in agreement with this comment. Uh, they should hire you, Jason. Man, I'll do it, bro. I, I, oh, yeah, I, I'd be setting everything to watch that. That's I mean, dope. it's the inspiration for, for yeah. Lost Children and Andromeda. And I, mean, right. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, like, like Tashi said, if they hire you, the whole the show would just get better. I believe in she believes in. I'm such a huge, oh my god, I'm such a Jackson fan. That would be like, oh my gosh, um, dream. But, but it just it, it it but once again this just this show alone shows that it can be done. Mm-hmm. You can give us the quality is deserving of, mm-hmm. and still give us a great show without jamming so much in. It can mm-hmm. work, and it's done by somebody who cares. That's mm-hmm. the key. And Nicole said it before: is someone who cares about the show, how it's presented, who does it. And how the the general public receives it because we've gotten so much garbage over the years. We're tired. Yeah. And the fan, the caring about the fans, and and not the toxic fans, but like yeah. the fans yeah, came out the woodwork this thing too. They tried. They tried. I'm like this. They actually tried. I remember. I, I didn't forget before when that first trailer dropped. Mm. They they actually tried, and you couldn't cry woke. Didn't work. Right, y'all here, but y'all were hooked every episode. Yeah, mm-hmm. show holding at a 9.5, 9.8 every episode. Every episode, every That's episode. It. What were the ratings? They were they no one has given this thing a thumbs down. It never dropped the line below below uh 9.5. Four right. has said this show is the best thing they put out. Oh, sorry, I, I'm I'm at viewership. Oh, the viewership. I gotta high. find those numbers. Let me, let yeah, but it, it was really high. I seen it. I had seen it once before. Rotten Tomatoes has it at ninety eight percent. When was the last time you seen somebody do ninety eight percent? Right. Also, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention a friend of the show, Mr. Oswald Wallace the Third, aka Ozzy Oz the Virus. If you are in need of some current X Men art based after the show is over, or apparel to wear to Deadpool and Wolverine, which comes out DreamCon weekend. <laughs> uh, place your orders now because some things are not going to be on shelves very long. Um, Bo has seen and reshared it. Um, Miss, I'm blanking on the Madam of Play Storm. I'm so sorry. Allison, Allison. Miss Allison, yes, has also seen and reposted it. So he's got the seal of approval of both people and he's got a Deadpool piece out. So I would definitely check those out while you still can. Um, please continue, like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for the donations again. Paging Mr. Not- Lively. Well, Mr. Lively, come to the front stage, please. Thank you. Yeah, answer your emails, you jerk. Um, <laughs> we'll probably not take this money away. Uh, me and Whoopty will be at MomoCon in a few weeks. Also, you can find everyone's channels here on the home tab of the Blurred's View page. 